Hello and welcome back to The Pit for more Full Contact Entertainment. I'm Josh Palmer, this is Bas Rutten, and this is Karate Combat. Oh man, I'm so excited. We have a title fight tonight and we are in Japan, man. I can't believe it. Yes, we do. Two men vying for that coveted golden belt in tonight's title fight. But before we look at that, Bas, why don't you explain to everybody once again where we are? Absolutely. Okay, so we are in Okinawa, Japan for the what, three, four weeks already by way of time travel. Now, what you maybe don't know is that when karate was developed, it was also known as the empty hand. And the reason it was developed is because the government outlawed weapons. So these people needed to find a way to still be able to defend themselves, and boom, karate combat was born. Now, over time, of course, there have been different styles popping up left and right, so Okinawa is known for Shotokan Karate, but we also have fighters on the roster with Kyokushin Karate, Gojo Ryu Karate, and Ashihara Karate. For you people at home, it's going to be very cool to see the little differences between those styles. Yeah, there's so many techniques and tactics that these competitors can draw from to get the win. Before we get started, let's take a look at the guys in our main event, Joshua Quayhagen and Denisio Gustavo. My name is Josh Quayhagen. I'm defending my Karate Combat Welterweight Championship belt versus Dionisio Gustavo. Mi nombre es Dionisio Gustavo, conocido como El Capitán. Soy mayor de la Armada de República Dominicana. It's a rematch, we fought it before. Me sentí muy mal en el 2019 cuando perdí contra Joshua. Since then, he's been thinking about me, he's been thinking about that belt. Y sé por qué perdí, creo que ahora no se va a repetir porque tengo claro mi plan y me siento en condiciones para buscar este título. I know he's better than ever, so I'm excited to see the best version of him. Estoy peleando más estratégicamente, más calmado. I think this fight is going to have his level of technique and chest in it, especially early. En el final del segundo asalto, puede que yo tenga la victoria vía knockout. He's a matrix type defensive guy. So I want to move, I want to keep the pressure on. And then he's going to throw. And I'm going to make him pay. Si no, se la voy a ganar eh, por punto hasta en el quinto asalto. I think if he breaks, he's going to get caught. If he stays sharp, if he's in great shape, we're going to go to war. Let's head down into the pit where Bass is with the schmo to go over tonight's rules. Okay, Bass, so what are the rules? for karate combat. Okay, now there's a lot that you can do, so let's go over the things that you cannot do. Crack! Fingers in the eyes, you cannot do that. I wouldn't do that anyway because you're wearing glasses. Go boom, chopstick to the dark throat, not legal. Elbow, not legal. Knee to the pills, knee to the body, knee to the face, also not legal. And also illegal to kick between here, right there. It's not legal, but for the rest, you can pretty much do anything. You know what is legal? This is legal. Look here, hop, boom, take you down, and then you strike down punches for five seconds. That is legal. That was six seconds though, boss. That was six. I don't know who's timing this. I don't know. Two fights coming up on tonight's card for you. Let's take a look at those. First up in the bantamweight division at 61 kilos, the Joker, Kamaruddin Hasanov, is going to take on the mad Frenchman, Ilias Mardi. And after that, we have got the welterweight title fight, the belts on the line for our champion, Josh K. Hagen, taking on El Capitan, Denisio Gustavo. Are you, are you OK? You wanted to jump in on this? Did, yeah, yeah, it's OK. Did you not like the smo? I mean, did you have to rip his jacket? Oh, come on, man. It's a jacket. It's better than rip a leaf off, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, right. You, you're here now. So first fight, Bass, coming up tonight, the Joker, Cameron Hasanov. He is making his debut. And boy, what a tough opponent in Frenchman, Ilias Mardi. Oh, man, Hasanov is a funny guy, man. He loves dancing inside and out to pit, he says. He loves boxing. He loves mixed martial arts. He loves the low kick to the calf, and he wants to knock his opponent out with a right straight. Now, his opponent, Marty, well, this guy never has a game plan. He's the madman, as they call him. He said it doesn't matter. The only thing I know about my opponent, he's Russian. That's the only <laughs> thing he said. He's going to knock him out with a hand strike, but his dream is Nushiro Mawashigiri again, like all the fighters want, a spinning back kick to the head. Let's bring in the two bantamweights, Cameron and Hasanov taking on Ilias Marty. Меня зовут Камаридин. Я родился в Таджикистане. В 17 лет приехал в Москву и пока что проживаю в Москве. Как я себя помню, так и занимаюсь этим видом спорта. Я не могу этого там бросить, отложить. Я этим 
вылез и живу этим. У меня в крови течет вот это бои там. Я этим живу. Люблю в сердце. О своем сопернике особо четко не знаю. Я знаю, что его зовут Ильяс. Я меня Ильяс Марди, я 23 лет, я живу в Франции. И я репрезентую для Франции и для Марок, который мой второй страны рождения. Ma vie, elle a tourné autour du karaté depuis l'âge de mes 7 ans, je suis dedans. Je pense que vraiment, j'aurais vraiment dérivé. Parce que j'ai pas de diplôme. Et voilà, le seul, le seul truc que je sais faire, c'est la bagarre. J'ai fait beaucoup de, titres, beaucoup de titres en France. Je suis 8 fois champion de France, vice champion d'Europe en équipe de France de karaté. Sans ça, c'est important parce que c'est un combat qui, qui va m'ouvrir les portes pour aller vers la ceinture en moins de 61. Je sais que je combat un russe. Et через пару боев я готов, я думаю, я покажу себя, на что я способен. И, конечно же, мечта стать чемпионом в этой карате комбате, побеждать всех. Ma personne face à lui, c'est que je suis imprévisible, et c'est ça qui, qui va rendre dangereux. Отключить его свет навсегда, сломай его. Je vais le mettre KO, je pense. En tout cas, je suis sûr de moi. И я буду концентрироваться. Да прямо сейчас скажи ему. Дайте мне его, я его семь, я голоден. Я знаю, что он мусульман. Давайте идти в битву за моего мусульманского брата. Это война. Так что мы не танцевать выходим, мы биться выходим. Мы войны. is an aggressive entry for these two fighters. Red corner for our qualifier, Kamaridin Hasanov. Blue corner for the returning Ilias Mardi. Hasanov is a character. Hasanov is he's playing to the crowd already. <laughs> planning on having a good time with this. <laughs> Look at him. Oh man, I saw a video of him and his son, and a seven-year-old son, everybody's dancing. I love this guy already as we look at the tail of the tape for the Joker, Cameron and Hasanov from Tajikistan. Obviously an 0-0 record. He is a debutant here tonight and he is looking to get that Karate Combat contract. And in the moon corner, from France, Ilias the Mardi. Ilias Mardi down at his more natural weight of 61 kilos here. You see that 2-1 record. Several appearances before, he's coming off a loss, a decision loss to Luis Roca last time out, so looking to rebound. Fighters, enter the pit! Our referee Sam Amidi just checking gum shields are <laughs> present, and he is waving Ilias Mardi on here. And you Bruce know, Lee style. It, it's Ilias Mardi, the mad Frenchman is not someone you necessarily want to ask to come on and give it some. Because he will come. <laughs> But you'll head games, he might come in and get countered. Yeah, a lot of hand movement. Keeping those shoulders really high though, Bass, is, is uh, Hasanov. He has a boxing technique as well, a mixed martial arts matches. Yeah, he's had, he has had some previous experience in other combat disciplines, so mixing the styles together there. By contrast, Ilias Mardi, much more strictly a, a karateka, junior European medalist. That punch was too slow. Coming from Hasanov, he needs to wrap up the speed a little bit. So Mardi with the traditional boxing guard now, both still trying to feel each other out here. Hasanov a long way out to throw that kick though. Mardi gets a couple of shots and you see immediately coming back in, pressing the action, big kick up the open side. Hasanov loves the uppercut, Yeah, look, might see it in the, in, in the clinch. Look for the hip throw and Hasanov swinging back now. 
And at that point, Bass, he's got to draw that line in the sand. He can't he can't back away. He's got to press forward himself. He has to, because the aggressor probably is going to win the fight. And uh, essentially backed up against the wall as well. Getting caught in a corner here. There's a good job of moving out, but Marty really giving him very little space to work with. Oh. That was a good spinning back kick. Very nice. Of course, that close to the wall surface, he couldn't change the range on him that much. <laughs> Mardi in that south core stance. Big swings here from Hasanov. One minute left in this first round. Mardi is doing a great job staying outside the range, controlling the distance. Again, here we go. Whoop. Nice high kick, Dr. High kick, that's very Matrix. <laughs> yeah, Mardi growing up in one of the toughest arrondissements in Paris. Has been really scrapping for most of his life. Really found a home with karate, though. Says he tries to really mix wild aggression with some smart counter fighting, but uh, he's not really counter fighting here, he's the one coming forward. Asanov was looking down there when he was striking, she do that. You know, Mardi generally feels that this lighter weight of 61 kilos, he's going to have a reach advantage over almost anybody, but Hasanov with a, a very capable reach himself, and Mardi well, closes there. the distance. They jammed heads yeah. against each other. Turning it into a bit of rough and tumble. A little dirty boxing. Oh, and you've got to say, Hasanov, he may have been swinging, but he came in with his head down, and that is asking for trouble. Yeah, you know, but, uh, but Marty, while he was moving backwards, he, he was punching, so that, that, that's a hard thing to do. End of the first round there, they jump back up to their stools. Let's take a look at some of the work from Ilias Marty. Oh, it's beautiful Ooh. feint, wasn't it, Bass, to set it up? Very beautiful. Wow, and he covered a lot of space with that back kick. Mardi again with the flamboyant kicks, but he, he followed up off that. He didn't throw it and then stop, and that forearm up under the face, a little bit unpleasant for Hasanov. Yeah, that spinning back kick, if he would have done it a little lower, maybe he would have found his target. It was just grazed his head on top. Well, we know Ilias Mardi has the gas tank to go full the, through the full three threes at this kind of pace. We'll see if Kamerudin Hasanov can. Of course, the amount of Tajik dancing he does on a almost daily basis, I think his stamina and movement's going to be just fine. It should be good. Now, let's see what's going to happen. Very excited for the second round. What instructions did Hasanov get? Just lure him in. Second round underway here. Kamerudin Hasanov in the red gloves, white pants, black pants, and blue gloves for Ilias Mardi. France versus Chidikistan. And again, Mardi immediately wasting no time coming forward. He's really closing Hasanov down here. Oh, and Hasanov getting lured into some wild punches. Very kind of flustered in defense, perhaps. Wow, good defense there by Marty. Yeah, never lets uh, his legs get taken away from him, able to retain that open guard and just ride the five seconds out fairly easily. If he can land that back kick while his opponent is in the corner, you know, so not moving backwards, that could land hard. Well, that's it, right? You've got to make your opponent think you're retreating, but you're really coming forward, and when they meet head on, that's where the power comes in. Because he covers so much space with that kick. It's the second time he threw it. Open side kick from Hasanov. Measuring the range here. This is the first time we've seen Hasanov come forward a little bit. Into the center of the pit. It's a big pit area, but it's been Mardi shutting down most of the space. Yeah, this has been a high-paced fight. It slowed down a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to keep that work rate up, but uh, the lighter guys tend to be able to do that. Good hooks from Mardi. First one sort of found the mark in a cuffing fashion. He's definitely staying more composed, I think, than Hasanov. Hasanov very wild when he has to throw in defense. Final minute of round number two here.
you know, Marty said to us early on, he really wanted to establish himself in this fight early, so he was the one dictating, and I think it's fair to say that's that's been the case. That's exactly what he did. Oh, look at that front kick to the face. You know, Hasanov, he really felt that if he was able to connect, the lights would go out, but the problem is he hasn't oh. been able to connect as of yet. One punch landed there in the brawl from Hasanov to Marty. That's a pretzel position, they call this. <laughs> Hasanov taking a lot of pride in keeping karate in the family. He has a seven-year-old son who's already the Russian national champion. Doing good work in his time as a karate coach, but he's getting stuck in here. Final 10 seconds. And the whistle blows as both... Sam almost got hit. Yeah, both men thrown with abandon. <laughs> Referee has to dive out of the way there. Back to the stools they go. Let's take a look at some of the replays from this second round. Roundhouse kick first coming up here from Hasanov. Bass, what did you think generally of the, the clinches and exchanges in this round? It, it, it was just wild, you know, there was a punch landing here and there, nobody really got an advantage. I think the advantage is now for Marty, because he just stays outside the range, and he's doing more, he's constantly attacking. He's pushing Hasanov backwards, he's yeah. the aggressor, a he's lot, scoring. A lot on the line for Hasanov here, he can't really afford to get backed up, vying for that Karate combat contract. Marty, of course, you know, he's been here before, he's been through three rounds on, uh, well, all three, vias, three previous appearances here at Karate Combat. He's He's gone the distance. He looks really good today. Let's go, gentlemen. I think this is the best he looked. Great yeah, distance, great control. Much more composed, yeah. implementing his game plan to the letter. And Bass, how, how motivating is it for you when you go in and you're able to do what you plan to do? That's everything, because you know that when the stamina, if everything works the way it needs to work, you know, your complete control that helps your stamina, that helps your technique, that helps your timing, helps everything. So Hasanov here really looking amped up. He eats a shot there, though. And Double jab right. Yeah. That was nice. Slow on the, uh, the recounter, uses the wall nicely there. Bit of a guillotine attempt. That's uh, not allowed here. Nope. A karate combat. Wrong point, he did it as well. Both these guys taking their time here in this third round. You've got to say, though, Marty can Ooh. probably afford to take that time. Hasanov, not so much. Not so much. He needs to come. That was a good calf kick by Marty. And he delivered. Good shots on the inside from Ilias Marty. He's trying to break this, getting up under the chin, pushing away. Gotta watch that the there, <laughs> but it's a nice trip from Hasanov on the outside. He can't throw from that down position, though. He's got to rise to either knee on belly or a standing position. Well, Hasanov has been telling me that he loves the uppercut, but we didn't see that a lot. I think he threw one in round number two in the clinch. Yeah, I mean, previously he's had big spinning kick uh, knockouts in the past, but we haven't really seen anything of that sort yet in this bout. I mean, it's tough, right? You get someone with the, the movement of Ilias Mardi in exactly. front of you. Exactly, yep. You know, he's getting lured into these, these big swinging shots on defense. And Marty really working hard in the clinch there. He's going to keep going till the referee breaks them up. The wild man. Long lunches, but great distance again. Control. But oh, what that was a nice shots. connect. Ilias Marty lands as he's moving backwards very cleanly, right on the end of the nose there. Very clean scoring shots from Ilias Mardi. Really capping off what's been an excellent fight for him so far. There's one minute left, and Kamaruddin Hasanov from Tajikistan is really going to have to push the pressure now. Nice calf kick again. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. You know, Hasanov had said to us his favorite kick was a low kick and his favorite punch was an uppercut. He hasn't really thrown either. Nope. But this is quite... Oh! oh gets dropped oh, momentarily kick. there. Oof. Bounced that, straight back up. If that Marty's kick would have been in again. the face, that would have been bad. <laughs> oh, oh, and nice. that's a big kick from Ilias Marty as he flurries looking for the finish in the closing seconds of the round.
Oh, in the corner of Ilias Mardi, reminding him there's 15 seconds left and just to go all out. Oh. Spinning hook kick, distance closes. But he's easily able to slow the pace down here with those legs, and the yes. time is going to expire here in this fight. And we are going to go to the judges' scorecard. But once again, Bass, probably not that tough a decision for the judges. I don't think so either. Yes, I think it's uh, pretty certain that Ilias Marty got this fight. Let's take a look at some of the combinations from Ilias Marty there and moving backwards, landing lovely shots. I love that when fighters do that. For people at home, that's the hardest thing to do for a fighter, moving backwards while you're punching and connecting. Hey, that was almost four shots directly in a row that all landed. They were really nice. You see Hasanov, perhaps a bit of frustration there, surging forward, just never able to land anything. Mardi dictating the break there, and that was a beautiful left hook that dropped him. That gig, if they would have connected. Oof. I mean, you know, probably the cleanest of the rounds for Ilias Mardi, the third and final round. Yep. Which, which says a lot, because most of the time when you're tired, you start swinging. Okay. Let's go down into the pit for our official decision. Bass, as perhaps expected, Ilias Mardi takes the victory here, moves his karate combat record to three and one. A disappointed Kamaruddin Hasanov. A lovely backflip from Ilias Mardi, a big fan of parkour. Hey, Practi McGregor style. <laughs> Practices a lot in his spare time. We see a little bit of it there. And he does some dancing for our broadcast colleague, Leila Annalee, perhaps making a little bit of fun of his opponent. Let's go over to Leila Annalee, who's with our winner, Ilias Mardi. Ilias, congratulations, a phenomenal third round. We saw you really in quite a flow towards the end. Walk me through your mindset at the end of the third round. How did you feel? In fact, she said you had a great round. You had a great round. How did you feel? How did you feel the third round? My coach in my coin told me que c'était litigieux sur les deux premiers rounds. Donc euh, j'étais obligé de le prendre sur le troisième. Donc j'ai monté d'intensité. Lui, il a descendu d'intensité. Et voilà, c'est ce qui a fait la différence. Il sait, il sait, me, his coach. Uh, when the, the, two, the round two finish, I say for me, now it's a draw. You must give all in the third, and he do that, and they win. You're fighting an opponent who is making his debut tonight. He showed a lot of personality and spirit in the weigh-ins. And of course, high pressure first round as well. Some words on your opponent. Qu'est-ce que tu penses de ton adversaire? C'est mon frère, très respectueux. On s'est on s'est beaucoup pris dans les bras cette semaine. And my Muslim brother for Tajikistan. Thank you for the battle. And this is my weight, my new weight division. C'est mon c'est ma catégorie. You don't need me now. Do you have a ceinture of 161? He say he won the belt in this category. About his opponent, say very, he love him. He's a good guy because they see in the hotels they talk a lot. He's his Muslim brother, like he say, and he said it's a very very good fight. And it's honor to fight versus him tonight. You touched on the weight category. This definitely far more comfortable for you here. Is this where you want to stay? C'est plus confortable cette catégorie dans mon 61. Parce que c'est la mienne de base. Je fais pas beaucoup. Je fais 63 kilos, donc ouais, c'était plus dur avant. Et voilà, je me suis bien adapté. Il sait, il sait, this category is this category is for him because his his weight is 63 kilos and this category is this real category and it's for him. And lastly, you're coming off the back of a loss. How important was that win for you? Je reviens d'une défaite. Est-ce que c'est important de gagner ce soir? Bien sûr. Je montre à tout le monde que je suis encore là et je vais aller chercher cette ceinture quoi qu'il arrive. Il dit que c'est très important de gagner ce soir, mais il a perdu la dernière fois, parce qu'il veut montrer que tout le corps est ici et il veut montrer qu'il veut le belt dans cette catégorie et il ne peut pas l'avoir. Vous avez montré beaucoup là, merci beaucoup. Congratulations. Merci à ma mère, à mon père, à mes amis, à mon équipe, à mes coachs, et à tout le monde qui me soutient, mon pays, mes deux pays de France et de Morocco. Merci à tout le monde, merci à tous mes coachs, euh, Mohamed, Djilali, tous mes frères, mon grand frère Zach, ma mère, tout le monde, tous mes gars, Islam, Polo, Charo, euh, voilà, et merci. And Doris Kovacs, président. 
Where is the DJ for the before season? <laughs> DJ music, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a character. An excellent win for Ilias Mardi Bass. And perhaps, you know, he said he feels comfortable at 61 kilos, and the proof is in the pudding. He did a great job. You know, I think we're going to hear from him. You see him literally grow every time we see him. He gets better, and, and, and today he looked great. Yeah, an excellent performance from him. He's got some, some stiff competition at 61 kilos. Let's have a final look back Ooh, at the look fight at that here. Big right hand landed. And the, the counter hooks were excellent. This spinning back kick earlier on in the fight was excellent as well. Very nice big step in there. The roundhouse kick to the body. But using the wall to, uh, to go away from the kick. Look at that big right hook landing. This was my favorite combination oh. Marty landed. I know he dropped him with a left right later on uh, and bounced him up against the, the mat here, right here. But yep. the four shot combo, the two shot combo, they were just good short shots that were, were accurate. So there we have it, a win for Ilias Mardi. He's going to move on in our new 61 kilo bracket. Join us in a few short moments back on Karate Combat. Todos los días me levanto a las 5 de la mañana con una sonrisa porque la música la llevo en mi corazón. He trabajado duro por todo lo que tengo. Pero siempre he sabido cuál es mi camino. Nosotros los dominicanos nos caracterizamos por ser extrovertido, alegre. Siempre le sacamos el lado positivo a las cosas. Mi esposa es campeona panamericana de karate. Es mi entrenador ahora. Trabajamos muy bien, muy chévere juntos. Yo respeto muchísimo su metodología. No deje que el amor te confunda. Ella es muy dura, pero yo puedo manejarlo. A los 17 años entré a la marina. Tengo dos décadas sirviendo orgullosamente en mi institución. Soy el único marino que ha ganado dos medallas de oro en Juegos Panamericanos. En el mundo de karate combat, me llaman el capitán. Es gracioso porque hace poco me ascendieron a mayor, pero aquí sigo siendo el capitán. Siempre estoy listo para pelear, ya sea en la guerra o en el pit. El alma de un peleador son sus guantes, su creatividad, usar todos los recursos que estén a su alrededor. Al nunca tener excusa para no estar listo, De eso aprendí a ser victorioso. Siempre he dicho pegar y que no te peguen. He peleado con los mejores. Peleé con Rafael Agallef, el mejor de todos los tiempos. Me pegó varias veces, pero yo no caí. Él dijo que no podía pegarme más fuerte sin romperse sus manos. Nunca me he noqueado. Soy noqueable, tal vez porque soy cabeza dura. En mi carrera de Karate Combat, yo he ganado y ganado. Ahora voy por el cinturón dorado. Este hombre dirige con dignidad. Este hombre nunca se rinde. Por eso me llaman el capitán. Y el capitán va por ti. Two years ago, I started this karate combat adventure. Uh, I was excited. Uh, my first official fight was versus Abdallah Ibrahim. And I was too confident. Uh, I was careless, and I paid a price. Luke 14 says, he who exalts himself will be humbled. And humbled I was. I used that loss as fuel. It set me on fire. It made me more relentless. I started working harder and harder. And from there, I started winning and working and winning. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Jitsuba Mihir. But my true victory was won over 2,000 years ago. I fight with a lot of peace because of, uh, I put God first. And, and man, it's just a beautiful thing. I get to fight in here with joy, win or lose. God is good.
This past year has been the toughest of my life as a fighter, father, husband, and business owner especially. But all the chaos has made my faith only grow stronger. Don't pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. That's from the book of Bruce, the gospel of Sensei Bruce Lee. Me and my fight team have overcome a lot this year. For a while, we were training in parking lots and fields wherever we could, um, but we didn't see it as a disadvantage. My team has inspired me to not slow down, no letting up, no matter what. If anything, I see the trials that we've been through as an advantage. Um, we've become more unbreakable. After everything we've been through, I'm ready for anything you could put me through in that pit. I like having the target on my back. I like the deck stacked against me. I look forward to the coming challenges. We've endured so much already. My community, my family, my team. You're the man to beat. Well, I like to be the target, you know. I wanna, I wanna keep getting better. There's so much, uh, it's, uh, talk to boss about it before. You gotta live like you win and learn like you lost. And there's a lot to learn from. Come try to break us. Welcome back, Pitside. Those are the fighters in our main event. But before we move on, let's go down to the pit where Leila Anali is with Karate Combat League President Adam Kovac. Yes, I'm with Adam now. And Adam, we've got a big title fight on our hands. Exactly. We're back with season three and we're starting off with a welterweight division and we're very excited about this title fight. And it's not just a title fight. This is a rematch as well. Exactly. This is a rematch between Joshua and Dionisio, the first fight was a back and forth. He went to the distance and he went to Joshua. And since then, Dionisio is asking his rematch. He's been winning since, so this is his time to get the belt. And this is also the chip on the shoulder for Josh to secure the belt and defend it. It was a high-paced, highly entertaining fight the first time round, but we did see fatigue set in. This is going to be a five-round fight as well. How do you think we're going to see the cardio, the levels now? I don't know, I don't think that this fight will go to the distance, basically because it is a five rounder, but the first fight was a completely different fight than what we're gonna see here probably. Uh, in the first one, Dionisio came out in the very beginning very hard and he, was, he has bombs in his hands, but then Joshua took over and could win the fight. I don't know how it's gonna happen now, but I think it's gonna be super exciting. Joshua's obviously defending the belt this time round. We've got two men who've already expressed how much this fight means to them. Desire is gonna be a big factor here, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. The other thing is that both Josh and Dionisio are with us with Karate Combat from day one, right? So they are, they are belonging to the Karate Combat family and for them now to either secure or win the belt, this could be the biggest day in their lives. And finally, two men who learned a lot about each other in the first fight, they did get to spend, like you say, the full rounds with each other, yet a lot can change in a year. Absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, this is why I said this is a completely different fight. They are different fighters. Since then, they had wins, so they have more confidence. And, and uh, Dionisio only lost um, to Josh Quayhagen, and he never been knocked out. Uh, Quayhagen has a crazy cardio, so I think this is going to be great. And we can feel the energy change in the room. How much are you looking forward to this battle? I'm, I'm very excited. I'm nervous as well as, as, a, as a previous competitor. Um, I can't wait to see this fight. It's imminent. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Great to talk with our league president, Adam Kovac. And Bass, we are just moments away from the main event here. Let's talk a little bit more about these two guys. Get your perspective. First up, our challenger, Dionisio Gustavo, is coming off an excellent win over Raider Masudi last season, carrying a 3 and one record and a lot of momentum. Yes, El Capitan, as they call him. He was very impressive in that fight. It was almost like it was choreographed. He saw everything coming. Very Matrix-like, moving out of the way. Great counters, very dangerous fighter. Last time he ran out of gas, the time before when he fought John in the first time, but he said he ate something wrong before the fight and it affected his muscles and that's why he ran out of gas. This time, it will not happen, he says. He's ready for five rounds. Yeah, this is, of course,
course, a rematch. So Deniso Gustavo knows how tough our champion, our welterweight yep. champion, Josh Koyhagen is. Doesn't matter what you throw at this guy. Punches, kicks, hurricanes. He doesn't give up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hurricanes included. It's good that you said that. Listen, this guy, he knows what he's up to. So he says, I'm going to try to trigger some him. Uh, I'm going to try to trigger him in throwing something, and I'm going to capitalize on that. He's also going to use calf kicks. He likes dirty boxing. And then he said, I'm going to use a sweep, which is a very smart thing because he has a 13-inch reach advantage in his legs. Wow, a lot to look forward to. Let's go ahead and get this main event set. It is the welterweight golden belt contest between Dionisio Gustavo and Joshua Quayhagen. My name is Josh Quayhagen. I'm the karate combat welterweight champion of the world. I'm from the United States of America. Mi nombre es Dionisio Gustavo, conocido como El Capitán. Soy mayor de la Armada de República Dominicana. I'm defending my uh, Karate Combat Welterweight Championship belt versus Dionisio Gustavo. Eh, voy a pelear contra Joshua. Él es el que tiene el título ahora mismo, es el campeón. It's a rematch, we fought it before. Me sentí muy mal en el 2019 cuando perdí contra Joshua. Since then, he's been thinking about me, he's been thinking about that belt. Y sé por qué perdí, creo que ahora no se va a repetir porque tengo claro mi plan y me siento en condiciones para buscar este título. Even at the beginning of our fight, it felt like he was the dominant champ, he was on the way, but I also remember the moment when I broke him. Me motiva, he visto su pelea anteriores, después que me ganó, él subió un poco el nivel, pero yo siento que mi nivel yo lo subió mucho más. I know he's better than ever, so I'm excited to see the best version of him. Me motiva a pelear con peleador y más que él ahora mismo es el campeón y mi vida se trata de objetivo, de lograr mi objetivo. His identity is tied up in this championship more than mine is. My identity is tied in, in my faith and my God. Estoy peleando más estratégicamente, más calmado, sabiendo cada tiempo que tengo que atacar, no debocarme como lo hice en la pelea anterior, que me desgasté antes de tiempo. I think this fight is going to have its level of technique and chess in it, especially early. For me, I want to move, I want to keep the pressure on. Puedo decir que en el final del segundo asalto, Puede que yo tenga la victoria eh, vía knockout. He's a matrix type defensive guy. So I want to make him be in defensive mode the whole time, the whole time, the whole time. And then he's going to throw. And I'm going to be in defensive mode. And I'm going to make him pay. Si no, eh, se la voy a ganar eh, por punto hasta en el quinto asalto. I think if he breaks, he's going to get caught. If he stays sharp, he's in great shape. We're going to go to war. It is time for our title fight. Defending champion Joshua Quayhagen in the blue corner in the black pants, and he is taking on Dionisio Gustavo in the red gloves and white pants. And as you've heard before, this is a rematch. So both these gentlemen know at least somewhat what to expect from their opponents. I love that golden belt around the waist of Josh Quayhagen. There we see the tail of the tape for the challenger, Dionisio Gustavo, three and one record here at Karate Combat. That only loss, of course, to the champion, Joshua Quayhagen. And in the blue corner, from the USA, Joshua, the creature, Quayhagen! The man who walks the walk and talks the talk, our current welterweight champion, Joshua Quayhagen, from Leesville, Louisiana coming off the back of two KO knockouts in his previous two appearances here. Of course, he got that belt against Jerome Brown last time out. Fighters, enter the pit. Yeah. So final instructions from our referee, Mark Goddard here as our fighters get set for the first of five three minute rounds. Of course, their previous bout was only under three three-minute rounds, so the championship rounds all to play for here. Ready. Okay, I just saw that uh, Gustavo has a five-inch reach advantage in his hands, but the Quayhagen has 13-inch advantage in his legs. Yeah, clear reach advantage, uh, or taller vice, should I say, 
for Quay Hagen, who's staying on the outside here. First mark. Yeah, he had a lot of MMA experience previously, but he's really found his home here at Karate Combat. Looked great against Jerome Brown, and of course, before that, knocking out Raider Masudi. Incidentally, though, Denise Gustavo's last match, he also knocked out Raider Masudi. Mm -mm. I love it. Whoa, Gustavo step yeah, jab. trying to cover a lot of distance with that jab. Quay Hagen staying composed, though. You see that golden belt wrapped around his waist, signifying that he is our current champion. Easy block of the high kick, but nice follow-up from the man from the Dominican Republic. Yep, he did it. Uh, he did it. Pull it through the kick. Whoa. Nice left hook. There we go again with the reflexes from uh, Gustavo, man. That guy, crazy reflexes. Gustavo, his, his entire life fully embroiled. Oh, oh, he's oh got him. and it's a he big shot. The strike. Quay Hagen knocked back down to the ground. He finds some form of guard, though. And Gustavo is not able to flurry. That shot came out of nowhere. Wow, that connected. Is he going to take the risk because it's a five round fight? Yeah, Gustavo firing on all cylinders straight away here and Quay Hagen coming forward and he is cut. Our champion with some blood running down the left-hand oh, side of his face. Eats another couple of shots. Yep, he's not fully back, you can tell. There's a lot of acting going on yeah, he's trying at, to, at Quay Hagen right now. Trying to appear to stay composed, but you see easy targets for Gustavo as he finds the body, goes up top again. Some redness on the midsection of Quay Hagen. But it's very nice, very smart, you know, in this moment to go for the body. You know, that, that, that tells you something about the fighter is in control. Yeah, Gustavo... Which Mike tells you, hit the head. So. Yeah, that's all right. Gustavo found the jab at home there. Coy Hagen perhaps a bit more recovered now. Anxious moments for him, to be fair. I think Gustavo has the biggest traps on his back. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the quite, a, quite a physique of Dionisio Gustavo. Clearly in shape for this one. Oh, again, connected. Stiff jab there. And that is a long, long jab, isn't and it? Another one. And that was not a stiff one, but it connected again. Yeah, Quay Hagen is still not there. No, he's pushing forward, throwing his combinations, but he definitely looks flustered. And you can really see the signs of wear already in his body as we approach the final 15 seconds of our first round. But he's been in this position before many times. Oh, absolutely. There's, there's no quit in him. He, you know, he's going to recompose. He's going to come back into it. There's still four rounds left to go as we close out the first round here. Nice show of respect, touch of gloves. Wow. And they head back to their corners. Let's see if we can get a shot closer up in the corner of the face of Josh Quayhagen. Let's take a look at some of the replays here, Bass, and they were good shots from yeah. Denise or Gustavo. Wow, okay. I was wrong. He did pull it through. <laughs> so this was the knockdown we saw, and it was oh, a clean oh, right. As he on the button. Close the distance, yeah. Yeah, you saw the whiplash. Quay Hagen threw some oh. good shots of his own, though, you see there, finding his way in. Does stay a little bit open when he throws those flurries, though. And there we see our current champ in his corner giving a thumbs up to his brother. Still very much in this one. They've been through some turmoil over the last six months. One of the large hurricanes in the US absolutely obliterating their home gym. Having to restart that business from scratch. But he shows gloves up. He's ready to go. The cut's been worked on. Mark Goddard gets us underway here for our second of five rounds. Touch of gloves. And Dinizio Gustavo looking to build on the good work he did in round number one. Now, let's see. Whoa, that was inside. That was above the knee. Dinizio Gustavo lining up, trying to look for that perfect moment to strike again. Trying to counter as Quay Hagen closes in. Yeah, he looks like he's, he's back in action now. He looks much fresher. You see Quay Hagen perhaps looking a little bit more flat-footed now. Although Gustavo is fairly stoic on his feet himself. That was nice. The, the accolades for Gustavo in the world of, of points karate, fairly significant. 
Three medals at the Pan American Championships, three times medalist at the Pan Am Games, Central American Games. And of course, he's now coaching the Olympic team ready for Tokyo 2021. And his wife is on the team. His wife is on the team. That is true. That's got to be quite an interesting dynamic. Yeah, if you're a robber, you want to rob that couple. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. Absolutely not. Koi Hagen getting set in the middle again, trying to throw oh. on the inside, but looking perhaps a little bit mechanical coming forward. Yep. It was almost like he got hit there in the flurry, maybe. I'd like to see that jab more from Gustavo. Really good when he used it earlier, but he's firing it from a very low position on the hip there. Are you surprised, Pass? We haven't seen more kicks from these two. Yeah, it's in uh, it's a boxing contest almost. There we go, one. Yeah, more of a sweep. Cut kick up the inside. Again, nice Gustavo looking at yeah, long right hand jab. We're into the final minute of round number two here. We know that Josh Quayhagen can put someone away with one shot. It's never over until it's over. A lot of time left to work. Yes, game plan was putting in a lot of feints there. Swinging in the from, pocket here. From Quay Hagen, but I think uh, when he got rocked, that game plan went out the window for a moment. That kick up the open side from Gustavo to close the distance there was excellent. Found his way right into the pocket. We've got about 20 seconds left on the clock here and just gets a touch on the face with a lead hand. Great timing again. Nice comeback there from Quayhagen. Final 10 seconds. Who's going to get the last flurry here? And it's a big shot from Gustavo. Quayhagen comes forward, lands with a left, throws the kick combination. <laughs> Jumped up the wall. Very <laughs> nice. Well, that's what it's there for. Use it to get out of trouble, throw a strike. Whatever you want to do as they head back to their corners. Round number two is in the books. Let's take a look at some of the replays here. This was an exchange in the clinch early on. We haven't seen too many leg kicks from Quay Hagen, but there's a good one. And that was a to hard the calf. one with the shin. Beautiful liver kick. That's the left kick to the body. Yeah, and here's a lovely oh. jab. Just really came forward and used the momentum of his body rather than rather than his arm. And there's a look at the challenger, Denisio Gustavo, in his corner. Seems like any other day, very calm, very composed. Yeah, and you see his wife in the corner there, the one who's on the Olympic team. Yep, not breathing heavy at all. He did actually say he felt that, that Koi Hagen was affected by fatigue in previous fights, so he was going to look to capitalize on that. By contrast, Josh Koi Hagen has made it very clear, at least he's begged the referees, let me die in that pit. I can assure you we're not going to let that happen, but the sentiment is certainly there. So Koi Hagen measuring. Unorthodox starts, good nice. kick up the outside and acknowledged by Gustavo. And it's always that thing, isn't it, Bass? If you, you kind of nod your head and say, yeah, you landed. It, that means you kind of get hit. Yeah, it means you felt it. Yeah, left hook, right kick. Oh, walked in on that straight punch again. Yeah, Gustavo doing a good job with that straight punch and Quay Hagen closing the distance here. Gustavo fires back. Quay Hagen perhaps just needing a little bit more a little bit more pop. <laughs> Again, in the middle of the, the nice. pit here, trading shots. Gustavo has been very content to stay on the outside. And Quay Hagen's throwing, but... He's connected with those kicks, though. Yeah, the, the, the kicks are helping. damage. We just need him to follow up with the strikes off the back of them. Yep. As you always say, Bass, the single shots, never never that effective. A bit telegraphed, perhaps. And looking to fire out that jab now. Gustavo's so good with the lean back. Keeps his feet planted, leans the head back. 
you know, you miss by an inch, you miss by a mile. Quay Hagen again trying to press the action, trying to come forward. He knows how much our judges here value aggression. And you, I can actually see the corner oh. of Gustavo calling for him to come forward. Yeah, because Quay Hagen is doing a much better job now. And again, he's letting that kick. A few seconds ago, he did it as well. You know, it can incapacitate that leg. Into the final 50 seconds of round number three here. Of course, this is where the fight would have ended last time these two met in the pit. It's not going to this time. We've got two more three-minute rounds coming their way. Oh, yes, it's coming. And Quay Hagen starting to build that tempo now. I think he knows that this golden belt is very thoroughly on the line. And again, that jab. Oh, that was nice. Missing with the hook, make it into a back kick. Yeah, and I think he, he really used the momentum there. He knew he'd missed the, the, that overhand punch from the start. Final 10 second clacker comes in. Gustavo lands a, a nice left. Troy Hagen again pressing forward. So much aggression from the American. And we end round number three. I would say now Quay Hagen won this round. Very so close. Two to one, I would say. Yeah, much better round for Quay Hagen. That cut has opened up again as we see him jump back up to the corner. And this is where the conditioning is really going to start paying off. Bass, talk us through the replays here. The jab of Gustavo again landing. Bonk. Wow, such a great timing. There's that kick. And that was borderline of the legal target zone, yep. wasn't it? Right on the back of the knee. Wide shots from Quay Hagen in the pocket. That, again, was a good leg kick down to the calf. Yeah. They can start taking its toll. Later and there the we fight. see a meditative stance almost in the corner from Quay Hagen. His brother giving him some further instructions. Bass, if you were in the corner of Quay Hagen, what are you telling him? I would tell him to do exactly what you just did in, in this last <laughs> round. I mean, he did great. He's coming forward. It seems like he's finding the, the timing from his opponent. You know, he wins the exchanges when they brawl. He cannot stay on the outside because that's where Gustavo is the best. Well, let's see if Quay Hagen can turn this into a little bit more of a brawl. Force Gustavo to come forward, get stuck in that pocket and throw hell for leather. Another three minutes on the clock as we enter round number four here. And Gustavo switching stance now. So those kicks might do damage. Have yeah, done. He, he's, he's played with this uh, southpaw stance a few times already in this bout. Back to orthodox there. Oh, and now the other leg attacks gets attacked. Roy Hagen again, setting himself in the middle of the pit. We're going to pour with that outside lead hand, and there it is. Gets stuck in as soon as the range closes. Throwing with intention. Oh, a back fist from Gustavo. Almost thrown like a back fist jab. Nice. Oops, stepping to the side. There's been so much action already, and we're still only a little way over halfway through Ooh, this nice bout. Again. Yeah, he's finding his range now. Quay Hagen is doing a really great job, and I do believe that those calf kicks were hurting him because he's switching constantly to uh, southpaw now. And Bass, the, the complexion does change when you have that extra full six minutes to settle in. As you say, find your tempo, find your range, build more of a game plan. Yep, exactly. And those short exchanges, pretty much every time go to Quay Hagen. Yeah, G Gustavo's really not throwing that jab that was so effective for him in the first couple of rounds. Tries a, a straight oh, rear hand. Oh, left hook, beautiful. And he does catch Quay Hagen yeah. a little bit, but we know the American's just going to keep swinging and coming forward until there's nothing left. Yeah, Gustavo looks, and I'm, again, oh. I'm saying it, he feels that lag, I'm telling you. Definitely some fatigue. Something's going on. Certainly seems like the momentum is shifting in this fourth round here. Gustavo just a little bit slower now. He's not bouncing, he's not changing range as much. His hands are very low. And Quay Hagen swinging. One of those lands, Gustavo's gonna be in trouble. Nice front kick from that position after throwing hooks. You don't see that a lot. No, and that's it. Because he's got Gustavo backed up against the wall, there's not really anywhere, at least straight back, for Gustavo to go. 
And this is all about heart now. Yep. The last 20 seconds of this round and the, the next three that are coming, all about the heart. Quay Hagen marching Gustavo down. I don't think Diniso Gustavo has barely thrown five or, or ten punches in this round, at least not any of substance. Wow. Works him back. Love to see him use that position. And a good round again for Josh Quay Hagen, Bass. Yes, it's two to two, I would say now, in my book. I don't think that anybody can cleanly say that one is ahead of the other here. I think it's very much all to play for. This is all about the last round. Absolutely. Let's take a look at some of the replays here. And that was an excellent Whoa. kick from Gustavo early on. But, you know, Quay Hagen throwing back in the pocket again. Yep, right body left, Duke. Beautiful. It did seem, though, towards the end of that round that the fatigue started to set in a little bit. Again, a, a very composed Josh Quayhagen in the corner. Bass, what do you think about uh, Quayhagen really turning the tables and starting to get back into this fight, shifting that momentum? Yeah, that's his style. You know that. You know you have to put him away because if you don't, you know he starts recouping. He's got so much heart that he just keeps coming forward. And now in round number three, he started connecting. Did the same thing in round number four. He can. Believe, better believe it, he's going to do it again. Yeah, it's probably fair to say he, he doesn't really come out and win fights in round one, does he? He very no. much weathers the storm. And we're seeing that again here as our welterweight champion Joshua Quahagan will eat a stiff jab from Gustavo there again. That was, it was a good strike for him early in the fight. I'm glad he's getting back to it now. Nice high kick, look at that. Yeah, caught him on the toes. Beautiful. Again, swinging, goes to the body, mixing up those target areas nicely. He's going to take some more motivation from that. Again to the calf. Again, going high, trying to come up over that guard. That was probably the reason he connected, because uh, he, Gustavo might have thought it was going to be another calf kick. Yeah, and Gustavo does continually drop his hands down. Tries to bring them back up as soon as the exchange starts. Quay Hagen, by contrast, keeping that guard up most of the time. Shot to the body, lands yeah, it the left I in the exchange. It. Starting with body shot, wrapping it up to the head. And the other way around, he does it as well. Throws three hooks to the head and suddenly straight to the body. Very yeah. smart. Yeah, when you want to talk volume of shots across this fight, it's very much going the way of the American. There we go again, body head. Constantly mixing it up. If he would wrap it up with a kick, that would be picture perfect. Yeah, because we've seen the high kick can get there, the low kick can get there. Just needs to chain it all together now. We've got about half of this final fifth round, and Gustavo oh. sits down. And did he get kicked in the head? Did it he? almost looked like my eggs in the knee. Well, I mean, here's the interesting thing. That position, you're not considered a downed opponent. You can get fully kicked in the head from that position while you're, you're backed up and down against the wall. Wow. Quay Hagen getting stuck in again, forcing Gustavo into this brawl. One minute left on the clock here in our title fight. That was a good shot from Gustavo over the top, oh. but he eats three or four on the return. <laughs> Anything you could do, I could do better. That's why that song is in his head right now. I don't think we can fault either of these two gentlemen for leaving everything in there. Good stomp kick off that. Gustavo oh, backed up. Oh, and he is, he's capitulating here. Wow. One-handed ground and pound from Quay Hagen. And you know there's 24 seconds left. Let's just see him push forward again. Josh Quay Hagen really might have pulled this one out and oh, turned man. it around. You see, that's what champions do. They get hurt and then they flip it around. Digging deep, Josh Quayhagen, Denise Gustavo throwing in the pocket for the final few seconds. High kick to wow. end. <laughs> and we are through five three-minute rounds for this title fight. Wow. And both men raise their hands up. Neither quite sure what to make of it. Let's take a look at some of the replays here and 
Denisso started that round fantastically with those two shots, but Quayhagen, a beautiful kick, just, right on the just on the toes. Boom. Left hook there behind the ear. And again, Josh Quayhagen, most of the story of the last three rounds with these flurries. Getting on the inside, work the body, work the head. And he tried a jump kick, but it, it accidentally... It was the shoulder. Yeah, hit yep. the shoulder. To the thigh, I think. And again, you saw the fatigue really setting into Gustavo. That was a nice little <laughs> push kick. That was really nice from Gustavo yeah, there. nice little push kick off the wall. This was like the sledgehammer coming <laughs> down. Oh, let's go down to the pit for our official decision. Is it going to be the champ, Josh Koyhagen, retaining his belt or the challenger, Denisio Gustavo? Yep. And just as we thought, Bass, I feel if we, you and I saw the scorecards right now, it would probably be three rounds to two to Josh Coyhagen. Exactly, the last three rounds he took that. The first two went to Denisio Gustavo. Well, we've seen that he's got the heart to get stuck in there and keep going. It is a champion's heart. And the champion is down in the pit with our broadcast partner, Leila Annali. Hello. Prior to this fight, you told me about how you thrive through adversity, how much you like pressure and endurance, and you went through quite a journey today. Yeah, it started right from the beginning. I think the first punch you cut me. That sucker's so good. Um, I'm so impressed to be, so honored to be in the battle in the cage with him in the pit. So I'm so thankful for him. But yeah, that was the plan. Uh, no matter what, just keep going. Follow us, fails. We'll do just that. First, let me go real quick. I'm so thankful and hopeful because I got God on my side and there's so many of us I just got to share. I know we're going through a rough time, rough year. If you got so much going on and you don't know what to do, you're putting your hope in your relationships, everything, man, you're just going to fall up short and you're going to be depressed. Put your hope in something outside this world. Love God. Seek him out. And man, you'll find so much peace in everything, win or lose, belt or no belt, championship, no championship, relationship, no relationship. God first. Now I'm done preaching. Let's talk about karate. Go ahead. Later. You were rocked early on. I appreciate that. You were rocked early on in the fight. We saw you quite wobbled. Walk, you, walk me through your mindset then, because you must have seen your opponent fill with confidence. So yeah, he's good. He's fast. You know, you know to be honest, I, that was the planning. You know, you want everything to go right. You plan for things to go right. But I spent a lot of time planning for shit to go, stuff to go wrong. Um, and so uh, when it did happen, I felt right at home. We talked about the hurricane training camp, everything that has happened, adversity really builds us. And you know, to be honest, better than a first round knockout, overcoming some adversity and winning a versus a warrior like that is, is more fun and more impressive and hopeful for me, so. I want Elijah to join us now, your brother, oh, Coach oh, Um I found very impressive after the first round when he was really quite rocked. You turn to him and say, wow, we didn't expect that. He's a great opponent. This is what you want, isn't it? And you flipped it into a positive. Yeah, that's all. That's, it's always a positive. Anytime we can face something unexpected and come out stronger, and that's, that's, that's all we can ask for. You fought him a year ago. We saw a very different version of Gustavo today. Absolutely. A couple of words on your opponent. Um, he's amazing. I knew he'd get better. I knew he wouldn't stop. Um, I wanted to finish him. I wanted to break him and turn it on. And he's just, you know, unbreakable for now. So I'm super impressed. He went the whole five rounds. Um, and he was everything that I thought he'd be, he'd be better. Props to Gustavo. 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 Pode vir, por favor. Gustavo, if I can have a couple of words with you. Yep, <laughs> I'm off the clock, he says. <laughs> Go rest your champion, Joshua Quay Hagen. I know you mustn't be feeling great right now, but your performance compared to a year ago is something you should be proud of que tu resultado como estuvo el año anterior es mucho mejor. Yo sé que no te sientes bien, pero debes estar orgulloso de tu performance. Gracias. Gracias. Lo haré mejor. Yo siempre me levanto, me levanto más fuerte. You um you were very impressive in the first few rounds. Walk me through how you felt towards the end there. Los primeros tres rounds estuviste impresionante. ¿Qué pensaste? ¿Qué sentiste? Me hizo 
una técnica, no la puedo decir, porque después la siguen haciendo. Pero con esa técnica me debilitó, porque los karatecas no estamos acostumbrados a ese tipo de técnica que no están haciendo. Um... I felt some techniques I, I cannot say because they will use, but I have to get used to, to get hit because normal karateka don't get used to, to that technique. Absolutely understood. Very, thank you very, very much. We did see the best performance from you we've seen so far. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Now it's back to you, Josh. So some fine words from our challenger, Denise Gustavo. Let's take a look back at the story of this title fight. Bass, talk us through this. Okay, big punches here from Joshua Quehe coming. And Gustavo took advantage of that and suddenly landing that short hook that sent him down. And these, the, these I, first two rounds, Bass, were all Denise Gustavo. All of them, but I think the leg kicks start adding up because suddenly Gustavo starts switching his stance the whole time. And then he got kicked, well, if he switched back to orthodox, he got kicked one time, again to southpaw. Beautiful high kick there, high on the temple, right away into a side kick, a yoko gear for the people at home. And it's just keep rolling, body, body, he's thrown to the head, he's all over the place. Man, what a champion. And a, a very, very happy Josh Coy Hagen, as you can see, he celebrates there. Dejected Genicio Gustavo in the corner. Commiserations to him, but it is our champion, Josh Cohagen, who is going to retain the belt here. And Bass, I've got to point out, when he said that fight for him is better than a first round KO, that tells you something, doesn't it? It does, you know, and it says something about that person indeed, as you mentioned, but also it's really great to know that you can overcome adversity like that and then still win the fight. Yeah, Good for your next fight. It sends a message to his future opponents, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, finish me, otherwise you're going to be still in trouble. Well, that is it for that title fight tonight. Our champion, Josh Coy Hagen, stays with the golden belt at 75 kilos. Join us later for more from Karate Combat. Well, the champion remains the champion, and Bass, Joshua Quay Hagen at 75 kilos, that is a tough man. Man, everything you want to be as a fighter, that's the blueprint. Getting rocked in the first round, stumbling through, biting through, losing the second round, and then he came back. Hard determination, start taking completely over, and he won the fight. Self-belief and faith from start to finish. Uh, that's another great night here in Okinawa. Do you think anyone back home's missed us yet? No, I think we'll be okay for a couple more episodes. You know, I left a note on the fridge for my wife, so uh, I'm going to be yeah. okay, by the way. Does, does anybody have a, a good hint for a, a, a souvenir shop or something? I'm not sure they have perfume in this age, mate. Yeah, they have Sono Gabriele Cera e vengo da, dall'Italia, da Roma. Se non fossi un lottatore professionista del Karate Combat, forse sarei un brigante. My name is Joao Sabda. I'm from Hungary. I live in Budapest. My nickname is The Soldier, which comes from not only the profession, but the virtues that comes with it. You know, discipline, controlled aggression. Quello che mi rende pericoloso per il mio avversario è l'imprevedibilità. The first match was a brand new situation. It was the first time fighting in the karate combat. I haven't met with the pit, which was also kind of strange. La mia tecnica preferita sicuramente sono le tecniche a vanno a segno. Gabriel Serra, he's a tough guy, good fighter. I hope in a good match. Ogni incontro è a sé, quindi magari oggi è un gancio sinistro, domani è una kick a destra. Chi lo sa? If he's a good kicker, I am going for the leg. My coach has a saying that kill the body and the head will fall. La chiave per la vittoria per me è l'amore. L'amore per se stessi, l'amore per, per quello che faccio. I don't really want to predict anything. I will come out and we will see.